That's it. Come on. Come on. Come here, you dumb duck. Just a little bit closer. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, that's... Crap, you got my duck. I have no idea how this has happened and what I'm gonna do. Um, hmm. Uh. Whoa, that's the Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, <laughs> Scientists explain the mysterious gravity hole in India's oceans. Yeah. Wow. What a hole! Gravity hole? Doesn't mean it has something to do with gravity. So you're saying we've got like a black hole or something in the middle of the Indian Ocean. There's a load of things that would go... I don't think they named it right. Wouldn't it be called like a sinkhole or, or a... Um, just a big pit? Gravity hole? Is it pulling things in? Is that why it's called that? Because that's kind of concerning. <laughs> just, you know, just a little bit. Well, that looks like it's been edited in, but still though, what the hell? Scientists think that they might be able to explain gravity hole in the Indian Ocean. In case you're not aware of what a gravity hole is, and you won't be alone, we'll have a go at explaining what it is, without getting too boggled down in the complex science. So, there's an area deep underneath the waters of the ocean that has been baffling scientists for a while. It's not exactly a small area either. At around 3 million kilometers, it's not an insignificant chunk of Earth to be confused about. Anyway, it's a gravity hole which is where the pull of gravity is low, which causes the sea floor to sink down. Why? It just uh, it's basically what, a wall, a, it's a whirlpool in the ocean. Well, it's just a sinkhole, ain't it? That's creeped me out a little bit, because I just thought of, um... <laughs> yeah, I just... Kind of reminds me of the old idea for Pacific Rim with the, um, breach. Like, it's just a random, like, portal to another dimension. Is that what's happening? Oh, I was right. How big is it? What category? <laughs> Just, you know, how it goes there for the first part of the movie. Um, I don't think we'll be making giant robots very quickly just to fight these things, if they're real. Just saying. <laughs> now, to interpret scientists from India Institute of Science, uh, Debajan Pal and Atari uh, uh, Grosh has posted a p potential solution. That solution could lurk 100 kilometers around 621 miles beneath the Earth's crust, where the scientists found that there is a cold and, desire and dense area that is remains of an old ocean that was plunged into the slab graveyard beneath Africa around 30 million years ago, churning up a load of molten rock in the process. Got all that? No? Well, we're power on any regardless. The two scientists looked at how um, tectonic plates have moved over the Earth's surface over 140 million years, running simulations and then comparing them to underwater dents that is this gravity. They discover that this simulation that produced the Indian Ocean's geode and low, as it appears now, all share similar characteristics including Plumes of hot and low dense magma coming up from beneath the, the low point. So, basically, it's the Earth's butthole. <laughs> I don't know why that's that. Yeah, it's a planet Earth's, planet Earth's butthole. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is why I hope they don't pop up being around here, because I'm in England. So, you know. <laughs> the scientists reckon these plumes of magma, as well as mantle uh, structures, cause the gravity hole. Still struggling? Well, let's give them a crack at explaining it, shall we? In short, our results suggest that to match the shape and amplitude of the observed geolo, uh, plumes need to be um, buoyant enough to come up to a mid mantle depth, said the pair. The first plume, uh, such as the one appeared about 20 million years ago, just at the south of the Indian Ocean, Geolo, about 10 million years after the NFC sank down into the Earth's lower mantle. The, plume, uh, the plumes moving around beneath the lit uh, lithosphere, heading slowly up towards the Indian Peninsula, saw the Geolo intensify. So it's just the Earth moving its tectonic plates. 
and this is what happens. So the earth's moving, it's having a little shim a little shimmy. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> That's gonna be a little shimmy. <laughs> ah, the earth's working. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's tough stuff to get into, but it's interesting once you attempt to get your head around it. There's a lot more research to be done and to find out what definitely truth is. And not all members of the scientific community are convinced by this argument. But that's the great thing about science. There's always a bit more to do. Yeah, very true. I think like the earth is always moving constantly, isn't it? So of course there's going to be movement of like tectonic plates and all that. So that's why we have earthquakes and stuff like that and all that. And yeah, so now it's just pressurised it and now it's letting off a little bit of a fart. <laughs> It's not really a gravity hole because, well, well, I guess it is, but at the same time, it sounds more like we're going to find another ocean down there. Yeah, like the old, um, you know, hollow earth theory. Great, that would be bloody brilliant because we all see what happens with that. But uh, let me know, guys. I don't think it should be called gravity hole. It should be called just like a, you know, just a pit, like a massive sinkhole, ain't it, or something? Yeah, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay guys, that was today's weird news. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Like, I don't really think it should be called Gravity Hole because nothing really to do with gravity. It's just pressures and like, you know, it's just what happens when, a, when there's a big hole in the earth. Things get sucked into it and things can come out of it. Just like a butthole. That's why I thought it's a butt. <laughs> uh, anyways, let me know guys what you think and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed as well. Help support the channel and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao for now.